Opposing groups going head to head in downtown Portland. One group supporting the Him Too movement, the other group speaking out in support of sexual assault survivors. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Trevor Alt. As with many other recent protests, members of Patriot Prayer and Antifa were at the center of it all tonight, as was our Jennifer Dowling. She's live now in front of Terry Shrunk Plaza. Jennifer, you've covered so many of these before. What was different about today's protests? Well, Trevor, they really were able to keep the group separated, and that was a little different. First, this was the line of defense here around Terry Shrunk Plaza. The Department of Homeland Security officers had this all around uh, the federal park here. And then around the city park, there was a huge orange fence, a plastic fence. That was the barricade over there, and it was pushed much farther back than I'd seen it before, all the way to uh, maybe the middle of the square there, Chapman Square. So that was very different. Now, despite all that, though, later in the day, the group did manage to clash. The fireworks started after those supporting the Him Too movement moved out of Terry Shrunk Plaza and tangled with counter protesters. Projectiles flew through the crowd, our cameras catching one man getting thumped in the head. For each and every single one. Before the two groups collided, Haley Adams kicked off the Him Too rally along with members of Patriot Prayer. I started the Him Too movement because I wanted to give a voice to men who have been wrongfully accused. When I say wrongfully accused, I mean anything. Men are, men are under attack in the U.S. The message, men are being victimized by false accusations of assault without enough evidence to back up the claims. Amen. Women want equality, while men want accountability. Some speakers also mentioned their support for Donald Trump and their dissatisfaction with the sexual assault allegations that surfaced against now Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. I was asked to come here to talk about, you know, fraudulent claims being made on Kavanaugh and others, just like they did Judge Roy Moore. Adams added that survivors of sexual assault should report it immediately. Him too encourages men and women to come out right away if something tragically happens. So you're not waiting 30 years or 32 more years down the road. There was also a call for those who are politically conservative to come together. Put our differences to the side and unify as one. Uh, malicious, three percent, proud boys, highwaymen. Adams also said they were planning to take stronger measures against detractors and encouraged us to listen to the speeches. Uh, and we're going to actually start taking legal actions uh, towards people that start causing harm toward, towards ours. And, um, but yeah, this event, it's pretty, you know, right to it, you know, just men are victims and uh, stop false accusations and it's going to, you're going to be, what, around here listening to speakers? Um, will you be listening to speakers? Okay. Um, so what do you mean you're going to take action and against whom? Oh, yeah, we're going to take, if, um, I've been noticing there's been a, um, our people have been getting attacked. A lot of doxing has just been happening. Security was tight as DHS officers checked for weapons before people entered the plaza. Despite later clashes, the event was much tamer than protests passed. It is time to leave. Stay on the sidewalk and leave the area. And after the protests here at Terry Shrunk Plaza, members of the Him Too movement, along with Patriot Prayer, went to Vancouver to the waterfront to further rally. Back to you. Jennifer, thank you. Of course, hundreds of counter protesters did gather for a rally in Chapman Square across the street, and they gathered a few hours before that Him Too event kicked off. And to those who silence and erase survivors, I would like to say never question what somebody else did to survive in the face of such awful trauma. The Portland activist group Popular Mobilization, otherwise known as Pop Mob, organized the Survivors Are Everywhere event today in opposition to the Him Too rally. People shared personal stories of domestic violence, rape, and sexual assault. Organizers and supporters say their goal today was to show their support for survivors of all genders. It's really important that survivors make their voices heard um, because this movement is all about um, collective action at the heart of it. We are here to stand up for the most vulnerable members of our communities. Survivors aren't just survivors of sexual assault and um, domestic violence. Survivors are also people who are surviving at this current moment in time where so many identities are under attack from groups like this, from the administration, and that we live in a city where our mayor offers more protection to people spewing hateful rhetoric than those of us who will stand up against it. 
Well, as Patriot Prayer members spoke at the Hymn 2 event across the street at Terry Shrunk Plaza, these counter protesters held up signs and chanted, We Believe Survivors. Of course, as you saw, it didn't go out without uh, any clashes. Six people are facing charges following those protests. Ruben De La Huerga, Betsy Toll, Elizabeth Cheek, and Brittany Frost were arrested on charges of interfering with a peace officer, as was Gary Fresquez, but he was also arrested for disorderly conduct, and Hannah McClintock was arrested on a charge of harassment.